this was beautiful. It really was how they played with color, going from a black and white world to a colored world, interspersing them as if someone was watching, and then taking a shard of a broken mirror to make the full world color along with the CD. It was gorgeous and unexpected. I didn't expect this for this. It was very high quality animation. You could tell that the animator put a lot of hard work into this and all their passion. It was gorgeous. I really enjoyed it. It's the type of style that we need more where you can understand what's going on without a single word of dialogue. It was absolutely beautiful. Every detail was carefully thought of. Every movement, it was, every color was carefully designed. The music and the animation itself was absolutely stunning. I really loved the uh, 3D animation, and I especially loved um, how it played around with the lighting and the colors, uh, how it jumps between the black and white versus the full color, and then those explosions of color. And again, just going back to the lighting, I loved... Uh, just how cinematic a lot of those shots were. Um, all of it was very beautiful. Um, to me, it represents a departure from reality, um, a departure from the now. It's a daydream coming to life and her creating this whole world inside of her head and it's filled with color and wonder and light and magnificence. And then, you know, the abruptness of it being brought back to reality is, is really a visual representation of how we feel when we're in a daydream. And then we go about our lives and go about our days until the next one. Um, and so that's kind of what I interpreted this out. The animation is really great. It's very detailed. You can see the movement and the fabric even. Um, so we're brought to this experience of her getting ready and um, tying into this relationship that we have with music and putting in a CD and having this world come from black and white and kind of develop into this colorful life until it... Um, becomes um, ejected and turned off and we see this moment uh, sort of fade right before us in this light projected uh, type of experience and it was cool to kind of see this black and white world to then give this you know watercolor look on life and um, for us to kind of see uh, this woman kind of get her bearings together before she leaves and takes on the world as she knows it. And, you know, what does music do as we kind of get ready for things? It kind of gives us a confidence boost that we need. Um, you know, more often than not, you know, it is very common for us to kind of get ready and um, lead with the music of our day. And um, I think this is a way, a form to express. Use the use of color in a really interesting way to set up this boundary between reality and fantasy and this kind of like departure, departure um, from everyday life and going into this um, almost like alternate reality. And I think that's really cool. Um, yeah, overall, this was a really interesting uh, animation and I think the use of color, not only to color in black and white, but also the colors that you do use. I think um, the way that they establish tone and, and the way that they segment um, different portions of this piece are really interesting. I really enjoyed the movement in the story and the way the colors changed and the music especially. It was all, all really interesting how it came together at the end. Definitely curious about the characters and their connection, but also thought it was really interesting. 